Hi, I'm Ron, WA7GIL. Tonight I'd like to show you this little rig that I just recently built. I call it the QR Pico. It's uh, 20 meters only, CW only. Tunes from about 14.0 to 14.08 megahertz. It has connections on the rear for antenna and power and on the front for uh, paddles and uh, headphones. Let's get into how we did it. Draw your schematic diagram. Draw a full scale layout of the circuit board. Start with your major components. I breadboarded the VFO to verify operation. My circuit used a lot of these small ferrites. I breadboarded the mixer circuit. And then I made a list of all the circuit elements that I'll need to build for this project. I finished the variable frequency oscillator and checked it out on the scope. Then I added an amplifier and had some harmonics, so I put in a low-pass filter. Now it's time to sketch out where all the circuit elements will go. The bandpass filter and preamp are now in place. Then comes the diode ring for the first mixer. And here it is with the two ferrites. Next, I installed the post mixer amplifier, winding one of the tiny ferrites. The crystal filter comes next, and then the IF amplifier. I breadboarded the receiver BFO, and it will go right in here. Harmonics are 40 dB down, and the BFO is installed and working very nicely. Here's another mixer, the product detector. Here's the audio preamp in and working. And finally, the audio amplifier is in. And right over here is the volume control. Now doing some DC wiring in the open spot is where the transmitter will go. The transmitter starts with its own BFO and mixer. That's followed by the bandpass filter and preamp. I used a logic gate to square up the signal and drive the finals in class E. Here's the MOSFET finals. No heat sinks required on this one. And there's the low pass filter to clean things up. 8 watts output and a nice clean sine wave. The sides are on and it's ready to close up. This book, Experimental Methods in RF Design from AORRL, contains lots of useful circuit ideas and is a must read if you want to get into serious home brewing. In the interest of full disclosure, I borrowed the final amplifier circuit for my rig from Steve Weber's Tribander, which is available from QRP kits or Pacific Antenna. Well, I hope that gave you some uh, impetus of your own to try QRP uh, uh, home brewing. It's, it's a lot of fun, challenging, and uh, not scary at all when you get used to it. And I uh, challenge you to uh, try it. Start with building smaller circuits like mixers and amplifiers and so forth. Pretty soon you'll have enough parts to build your own receiver. From there you build transmitters and have all kinds of fun with it. So thanks for watching. 73, I'm Ron, WA7GIL.